Hello again and welcome back to Easy Network Cam and InternetCameraHelp.com. Um, what we're going to be doing here today is uh, we're going to hook up one of these pan and tilt wireless uh, Easy Network cameras, which you see here in this picture right here. And the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, download your software uh, that helps you identify the camera at, when you plug it in. Uh, to your network with a network uh, cat5 cable okay so we're gonna double click on this camera tool as you can see here right away you know you can hit refresh uh, if you have multiple cams it's picked up the camera the test camera that I have plugged in one thing that's cool about this is with this version version 2 of the software that's installed in the camera uh, the DDNS uh, domain name address is already assigned to each camera. A, a unique name address is assigned to each one. And this one, uh, this is the domain name address. If you were to log in from outside of your local area network, say you, you've got it hooked up in your home, and you go to your work or something like that outside of your home or uh, small business, and you try to log in with this address that you're setting it up with it won't work but instead of signing up for a dedicated account it's already got a domain name address right here if you use this in your internet browser anywhere outside of your home or small business wherever your cameras plugged in uh, and put this into your browser this address uh, you'll log right into your camera and its monitoring software okay right now we've highlighted this and we're gonna go ahead and well before we do this I want to show you this cool software too this uh, software is IP cam viewer and this works on Android and also it's available for the iPhone and this is just the still shot of it but as you can see if you have multiple <laughs> cameras uh, your multiple cameras will be viewed and you can scroll through them right here and if you touch one of them you'll get the big view and also you can uh, pan and tilt with this application it's very nice uh, so I recommend that ap application and that was uh, IP IP cam viewer alright now let's move on uh, what we've got here I'm gonna highlight this new camera that I've got plugged in I've got it plugged in with the power source and plugged into uh, the I got the cat5 cable plugged into the back of it I've already installed the antenna to it doesn't matter because eventually I want to make it wireless uh, but right now to get it installed you have to have it plugged in to your router with a cat5 cable and that uh, is probably included if you've uh, purchased a camera or several from us and what you want to do is open device and here we got here the device is open and what we want to do user is when you first get your camera it's for this uh, software version 2 is admin and admin and press your login wow it's already we've got it hooked up now I'm gonna turn the sound off of it right here that was pretty annoying okay and as you know on this screen here with these arrows if you press uh, your mouse with the arrow highlighted in yellow there I don't know what color it is on your screen but up down sideways you can flip your video say if you uh, mount it on the bracket that's included and mount it up high you can flip the camera upside down you can even mirror the image uh, so those settings are right there for you you've also got an outdoor setting and different lighting version settings um, you can also see this in a different resolution oops oh probably because we changed the resolution uh, here it comes back okay now we're gonna move on what I want to do what I want to show you first is the control panel well let's go to net connection first and as you see here we got get by dynamic I always like to change that to static and I'm gonna use this address IP address for this camera you wanna make sure your subnet mask which usually always in small 
homes and businesses is 255.255.255.0. Uh, if it's not, you'll want to change that. Also, your gateway is usually standard uh, this, but that could be different depending on your router maker model. Um, and I'm going to save this now that I've changed it to static. Click OK. Save success. And it's going to reboot now, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it open. And it's back up. And we'll go back to net connection and we'll go to port. Port here is important if you have several of these cameras or several IP cameras working in one network. Right now it's defaulted at 81. If you're having issues with it, you can change it to 80 or port 8080. Uh, most of those will work through your firewall. Um, I've got a dedicated port set up for it already, uh, and that's in another tutorial. You'll have to look at how to port forwarding, how to do your port forwarding through your router. But we can keep it at 81 for now. And we're going to go to control panel next. And you've got lots of options here. I mean, these cameras give you a lot of flexibility. Um, what I want to do here first is show you um, date and time is one of the first things you want to do. Because when it shows up on your screen live, you'll want to see the live date and time uh, that you're watching. And I'm Eastern Time Zone here in Florida. And then I'm going to save. And it was successful. Um, what else can we do here? Uh, we can do a user account. Right now it's set on admin and admin. See if you edit this, admin is the username and password is admin. And I want to show you something here. If, if you change or if you create a new admin, for instance, I'm going to put demo and demo change it to administrator and save and I'm going to log out now I'm going to do demo and demo and log in it says log in fail don't worry it's not really a fail what you have to do is um, go into your tools internet options delete your browsing history Confirm delete. And then watch what we do here. I'm gonna go OK after it deletes it. I'm gonna you have to close out your internet browser and reopen your internet browser. Once we do that, I'm gonna shrink this down and go back to here and open the device again into my internet browser a new one that I've reopened now remember demo and demo didn't work we're gonna try demo and demo once again and log in and now it works so now that's a workaround okay and that's how you get around that <clears throat> so what we have to do here now we can also see you can add cameras several and have them all on your login screen and to add another camera say to this box here what you do is go to control panel and outer device you're adding another device outside of this one and if you do create here's where you put your information in username and password so it can automatically log in to that outer device when you're logged into this one and you can always go back to live video uh, so that's how you do that and you know you've got your convenient controls here when you're highlighted on that camera you can go up down sideways however you want um, we're gonna move on now and we're gonna go to wireless connection wireless connection option under network connect net connection status we're gonna enable it this is the signal I'm going to pick, the very good one. This is my uh, main outside router. 
I'm going to pick that, and it should populate here your Wi-Fi router name. Your SS, this is your SSID name. And you would enter your password here if it's password protected. Currently, I don't have it password protected. So that's how I'm going to do that. And I'm going to save. Okay, now it's resetting. I'm going to close this browser out now. What I want to do, I forgot before I close it out, because these cameras are really finicky. I'm going to go back to my tools, Internet Options, Delete, and Delete the Browsing History. Right now I'm unplugging my network cable from the camera and unplugging the power source. And I'm re-plugging back in the power source only. My antenna's already screwed in. But now I'm not wired with the Cat5 cable. And what we're going to do here is we're going to wait for it to refresh it's rebooting the camera right now since I just unplugged everything and I've plugged it back in. And we're going to see if this thing works wireless now. Hopefully, that way this uh, tutorial will be a successful one. Here we go. I'm going to open device. It automatically opens up my internet browser here. Wow, it's wireless now and uh, we've logged right in to it. Now we've logged in with this address right here. I want to show you, I'm going to put, type in this uh, outside domain name ad address and show you how that works just to show you that you can use it both ways 965.eipcam.com enter whoops you got to do a colon and your port yeah you got to always remember when you're using an outside domain address you have to do after the dot com do colon and then whatever your port number is in this case this camera is set up to port 81 and then we're going to log in admin admin hit your login button we're successfully logged in wirelessly download and install OCX this is going to come sometime in or, or another I'm surprised it didn't come up already but it's probably because we're logging in from an outside domain name and you just hit this to run and run succeeded okay and we're gonna run the add-on now it'll just take it a minute to load alright it's loaded and we are now go and this is my camera this is kind of a, fu a fuzzy image let's uh make the resolution better on here oh yeah that's right every time you change the resolution we get that issue it's gonna re-log re in here tab is recovered we're at the higher resolution now my dogs are barking outside and I think we're done and remember your control panel is hidden over here this pops in and out so I hope that helps you I hope you enjoy your security for your home or small business and we'll talk to you on the next tutorial thank you very much